It seems like yesterday since he went. Where? To pieces! <laughs> It's become one point, but people weren't dressing up as much, and then and then now they've started to dress up a lot more. Cause people people's inhibitions have now started to come out there and you know have a real good time. But when you see like a group of guys, you know, on their on their stag party, all come to watch Rocky Horror, <laughs> I absolutely love it. Do you know what I mean? All dressed as Frank and Columbia. Like, don't get me wrong, I've pretty much seen it all now. You know, I've I've seen. I've seen a lot, you know, uh, it, from the crowd. And I, I always take my hat off to everyone because the detail in their costumes is amazing. You know, they they really spend a lot of time with it all. And, um, yeah, you know, it's it's sur it, first of all, I found it surreal. And now I actually embrace it. I actually, I actually love it. And I, I actually want them to be all dressing up. People that don't dress up, I think they feel a bit out of place, to be fair. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, it's good fun. We're not taking ourselves seriously. You know, for, for the next two hours, you can come and have a real good laugh. And to be fair, the show's been nearly going on for 50 years um, next year. And it seems to be, it seems to have caught up with modern society. You know, it embraces people that you can be whoever you want to be and no one's going to judge it. You know, and, and it's all about, you know, sexuality, you know, gender fluid everything like that and it seems to have just caught up with modern times and I take my hat off to Richard O'Brien with the piece like you know he's he's obviously he's he's taken things that he loved from uh, like B movies you know a lot of it is you know, the Rocky Horror Show it's based on you know Frank um, Frankenstein Dr. Frankenstein he's taken things from like uh, uh, UFOs I mean spacing you know space encounters and everything so it's all got that element in it um, with a rock and roll score, you know, and it just seems to be quite current in this day and age. And um, I think that's why people love it. It's because they can see themselves in w one of the characters in it, you know, and um, uh, I, uh, I'm i very honoured to be part of this, of this piece, do you know what I mean? And actually be part of it, you know, so it's a real honour, really is. As soon as, as soon as the time warp starts, I've never seen the crowd, literally, as soon as that guitar riff starts happening everyone's up on their feet and everyone's doing the time walk and uh, and then straight away, and then the next song you've got is sweet transvestite which again you know as soon as i come out you know i feel like mick jagger no, they're, they're kind of mental for it and i absolutely love it and it is it's 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 timeless you know that it's so iconic um uh, the, the score and um you know it's 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 won awards you know it's it's been in the top of the pops it's 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 one of the most famous um you know uh, dance songs that, that that you can do i think it, it just won an award for being the t the best the best one that you can dance to to like the, to like the cheeky girls or the saturday night song or whatever you know it's it's great and um you know i don't think he realized you know uh, what he had he said you know i only play a few chords but yeah it, it, Every single person that, that that comes knows all the songs, you know, Damn It, Janet, you know, The Floor Show, you know, every every single one of them is a cracking song. And I think you, if anyone that hasn't seen it should come and see it because they'll be in for a good night. The river was deep, but I swam it. Janet. The future is ours, so let's plan it. Janet. So please don't tell me to can it. Janet. I have one thing to say, and that's damn it, Janet. I love you. We've got Oreo Duba, who won uh, Strictly Come Dancing a few years back, who's absolutely brilliant. And people that think, oh, he's a dancer, the boy can sing. Like, he's a very he's a very good singer, very good actor. Um, we've got Hayley Flackerty, who plays Janet, who's done, who's done the show many times before, a very class act. We've got Philip Franks, who was in um, uh, the Darling Buds of May but back in the day. It was a very, I've never, I've never, he's, he's, he's allowed to interject with the crowd and every single night he's always says something different. So you never know what you're going to get out of him. And he's extremely funny. Um, and uh, yeah, like myself, you know, I, I, I was in Jersey Boys before this and as you say, Legally Blonde and I've always played like, 
very like you know strong macho guys you know sort of thing and then to be able to play this role which first of all took me out of my comfort zone um <laughs> i can't get out of it now i absolutely love it so it's it's one of the things that i embraced and and i just uh, i couldn't see myself not doing it now so it's cracking yeah i'm i'm here at the moment in in glasgow and then uh next week uh we're off to uh cardiff which apparently it's, it's selling very well and i haven't been there for the past uh about five years so i can't wait to come come back and i know that i've always done the millennium but i've never done the new theater there which is a lot more intimate which is fantastic for this show because it allows the crowd to be more part of the show so um yeah i can't wait for next week just a jump to the left with your hands on your hips. People do wear, you know, fishnet stockings, corsets, you know, bowler hats. They all dress up in like magenta outfit, which is like a sexy um, maid's outfit. People. It, it, when people are dressed up, people take their inhibitions out of it and they actually go, do you know what? We're all here to have a laugh. We're all here to have a... And, and that's what a theatre should be like. You know, it, it shouldn't be a, a, a... Sometimes everyone goes, we have to be quiet and everything like this. Whereas with Rocky Horror, it's the complete opposite. You can be as loud as you want. You can be, have a real good time, have a drink and, and come and have a laugh. And I think that's... It's a completely different event to, to the theatre than any other show and um i can't wait to hear the welsh you know could give us sh shout out some abuse us i can't wait